I mean, their why is so much bigger than 90 minute football. It's so much bigger than that. I hope they understand how much they can actually influence, not just the sport, but people. All national team coaches experience the same challenges. How can you, in minimum time, get maximum output? What's the challenge then is how can you simplify things to bring all this complexity of the game down to a simple message? Can you package that so everyone sees the same picture and want to play the game the same way? Well, I actually think I could have done a better job uh, in educating and informing the, the fans and the people outside of the circle of why we've done what we've done. I agree that some of the results hasn't been there, but we've been on a journey. We scheduled the toughest schedule in the history of this program with top ranked teams. At the same time, I looked at between 50 to 60 players, 17 debutants. We've done that on, a, on purpose. The other thing maybe that I should have done is also present what I was presented when I arrived, meaning the statistics of this team over years before. You know, we've never gone past the quarterfinal. The statistic in this top teams against European team hasn't been good. So there's a reason why we've done preparation to be able to do something better. What I do love though is the awesome mentality. Like the belief in this team that we can overachieve and do th something that no one can expect us to do. You know, yes, all the statistics, all the things that said that what we've done in the past, but to feel that belief and that support and that awesome mentality, I love it. It was a tough draw, but you can't affect the draw, but we, what you can affect is how you plan for the, the draw that you know, and now it's all about planning the right type of opponents to prepare for that group stage. And then it's obviously our analyst with scouts and analyzing and get all those things when it comes to scouting our opponents nailed down. Where do we send people live to see the games and really dig deep into the details of the opponents as well. I've, I've established some routines over the years, you know, 22 years in coaching, you get to know yourself what you need to do. and. I'm a really, really hard worker up until that last meeting the night before the game. Once you've done that, I'm of the mindset that on game day, you shouldn't talk too much to players because you've done all the preparation. On game day, they need to be in their own headspace and, and prepare themselves. And I try to do the same. So once that last meeting is done, I get in my own headspace and, and make sure I'm calm, uh, I'm ready, I'm energized and because I know once the, the game kick off I can be a bit intense. I should have a GPS on and see how many steps I walk or run during a game. Uh, so in order to get my mindset right before the game starts, I, I have some routines. I meditate for example on game day um, to be ready. Expectations is a a difficult word, I think, because expectation is ba based on assumptions sometimes. The one thing that I did have expectations on is sitting on the opposition bench, coaching against the Matildas, I saw and felt a team that was very difficult to play against, an intense, aggressive team that was willing to wear that jersey with pride and give it all, every single minute, any game. And when I came on the inside of that team and understand the DNA and the culture of this team from way back, I now understand what that Never Say Die uh, means. This team have already established uh, a DNA and a culture. What we can do though is get one day better. Get better whether it's technically, tactically, mentally, physically, making sure everyone sees the same picture. Because that's the number one challenge with a national team. Like in the last camp I think we had between 10 to 15 different clubs that they represent when they come into the national team. And then you have a few days to put it all together. They need to see the same, the same picture so we can play the same way and get the cohesion and chemistry in the team. Well, I'm going to be boring in the sense that I don't pre predict results, but what I can predict is what it's going to be like. And I predict this team to inspire a generation and unite a nation. That's what I predict.